Well, howdy, howdy. So I was asked while I was at Game On in Seattle whether or not I could do a video of my bookcases and my games and what my collection was, I guess, for um, some reason. I don't know what the reason is, but uh, you know who you are who was asking for this, my little rum drinking buddy. So I'm going to flip the camera over and we'll uh, have a look at the games. I'll try and go through them as slowly as I can and we'll kind of take it from there. Okay, so let's get started. So that's the set of the main bookcases I have and I'll start up at the top. Actually, let's go by chronological order. So we'll just do that for fun. So all the usual GMT stuff plus the old Mark Herman and uh, Peloponnesian War, which I have not played yet. I've played most of those games in that little uh, quad there, that little box there, except for Rise of the Roman Republic, which is actually uh, coming up next. And of course, I got to do Charlemagne. That's a brand new title out from Hollandspiel. Uh, Pericles, I've set up, but the cat destroyed it, so it's back in the box for the time being. We'll get back to that. Uh, just picked up the Crusades. I uh, have not played Caesar in Alexandria there. Probably no need to go through what everything I've played, but you can see uh, now we moved into the Napoleonic era as we go across. So there's a bunch of different Napoleonic games. They're all at that tactical scale there on that shelf, except for Habit of Victory. And then down here we've got all the usual bits and pieces from GMT as well, continuing the Great Battles History series. Table Battles and the Seven Pines, and then all my ACW operational stuff that I've only really played a very little bit of, and will need to do some more. I've played Battle of the Clouds down the bottom there. I'm playing a line of battle later this year with a bunch of guys. We're going to do the full campaign, which should be fun. Uh, so this shelf headed down here. More Napoleonic stuff. I'm still exploring tactical Napoleonic Titles, so I'm going to give uh, Berg's uh, Borodino 1812 a shot, and I've got the Austerlitz title here somewhere here. And I played Rising Eagles already, and that's excellent. So it'd be nice to compare those two. And I've obviously played the, you've probably seen that game play through. I haven't played Marengo yet. I played Bonaparte in Italy, and I'm not a huge fan. These are kind of done sort of chronologically. And then we've got all these other operational titles here. I played the Six Days of Glory as well just recently, <clears throat> so we'll see how that goes. And uh, I've had a quick play of uh, Lingi, uh, but we want to get that set up again and play a pose. That was a lot of fun. And then some more bits and pieces. I also enjoyed uh, Bloody Monday as well. I thought it was kind of fun. I've read the rules for Wellington's Victory. I'm getting ready to do that. I've got a bunch of strategic scale... Uh, <laughs> Napoleonic games, which uh, by all accounts all kind of suck, so we need to uh, work out what we're going to do with those. Uh, they're all moves magazines in there that I uh, just picked up cheap in somewhere. A couple of SBI modern and SBI uh, sniper titles there. There's two copies of Firefight in that box there. Uh, let's see. Scrolling up here to the top, we've got uh, a couple of L2 titles that don't fit in the bookcase properly. Those three games are for sale. Uh, I'm gonna pop those on the marketplace. They're just older, older games of War Gamers magazine. I picked up uh, two skirmisher mags, which I think you saw recently, and there's a Rose to Gettysburg as well. And then World War II, once again, going through that chronologically or and or by theater where possible. So early war stuff, uh, Africa stuff. I'm playing the African campaign right now. I've uh, had a couple of goes at DAC, that's good fun. And there's Tunisia too, which we'll, we'll get to at some point. And obviously played Reluctant Enemies a couple of times, you've probably seen those online. Then, uh, you know, good old Eastern Front stuff. So I've got quite a few Eastern Front titles hanging out here. Red Army is a great little game there. Battle for Stalingrad, warts and all, that it is. Uh, let's see, what else is there? You know what's a really good game, actually? This is a good game. Von Manstein's uh, Backhand Blow is a good title. Obviously, the TCS stuff is fun and some OC, more OCS titles. Playing this on Vassal later this year, I hope. That's the plan with Steve and I every Monday night. Uh, now we move into kind of other theaters and then uh, the Western theater. So I've played this guy. 
I've on my second play of that bad boy, I've had a run at this guy a couple of times, done two or three scenarios out of there. This is a pretty good system. It it has some uh, sophistication and layers to it without the grinding detail perhaps of Atlantic Wall or something like that. So it's a it's a noble uh, addition to a to a uh, a collection. I think if it's something you want to play, you want to play a battle for Normandy battle. This is probably from the fastest uh, to play. Uh, they all take a long time to set up, of course. Beyond the Rhine, broke my back. I need, I need to get back into that game. I, I got real frustrated with that and just uh, packed it up. Uh, I've really not touched Hell's Highway at all, except for It Never Snows, which I just thought was uh, kind of tragic. Um, played a little bit of Arden, uh, played a little bit of Last Blitzkrieg. I think you all probably know my opinions on Last Blitzkrieg. That's why we're going to give Baptism by Fire a shot at some point very soon, so that we can we can uh, help hopefully redeem the the Last Blitzkrieg system, the BCS system, and uh, and fall in love with it. A little solo game. It's one of the few solo games that I own that I haven't played yet. Got a a reboot of Anzio in there. That's the the reprinted maps and, and bits and pieces, uh, with no with it's got the old rules in it. Uh, let's see. Then we're gonna go down here. I guess we got uh, Tola Krieg. I've lined up with Thomas, the designer, to have a chat to him and try and learn how to play that. That's a uh, against the uh, Reich. Uh, it's a Belkowski title. I bought it because it's a Belkowski title because he is awesome. Supreme Commander is an underrated uh, World War II strategic title that I quite like, and of course Fields of Despair and uh, Teutons are two very good games. And this is uh, that uh, Infamous Traffic, which is a nifty little Cold World game. Uh, Churchill, which I have not played. I've seen it played. I watched about an hour of it played one time. And then we got, of course, Panzer. Everybody knows that game. Tactical tank on tank stuff. Ooh, let's keep moving on. That's got all my, uh, this, this box here has all my battles, uh, magazines and games, all in one box there. Uh, Millennium Wars Garbage, Hetzer Sniper and Sniper, and then the Ambush series, which, and the Firepower series, which, in a perfect world, if I could retire tomorrow, I'd probably set that up and work out a way to write short stories and sell them or something. I think that'd be fun because they're fairly thematic titles. All right, scooting up to the top. Uh, Pacific Theater, just played flat top for the second or third time the other day, yesterday, last week at uh, Game On. And uh, I've played Pacific War a handful of times and played Bloody Ridge and I've uh, goofed around with Empire of the Sun. All these guys here, I've played those. I'm still Trying to work my way through the rule books on these guys. These are these are uh, these are chewy. These are dense. This will just be f fun, goofy sci-fi style uh, future conflict stuff. Uh, still have not played this title. Amazingly enough, I quite like this system, but um, I have my suspicions that uh, there's some problems with the combat system based on uh, fiction points of combat system together uh, really bog things down. Probably I'd say the same thing for this with fatigue and combat. This is a goofy game, a lot of fun, but just goofy. Uh, I enjoy this just because it's great to play uh, uh, play either um, uh, double, not double, yeah, basically double blind because uh, you both have a map. Um, I really like this game. I don't know why. I just do. I I I, I like the way the uh, there's a, some granularity with the orders and and fatigue and things like that. Uh, let's see, so keeping going on the modern theme, MBT and Semper Fi and Korea and Korean War and Dien Bien Phu. I've played all of those except for this guy. Uh, actually, you know what, I have, I've, only, I've only touched on this. I haven't really played the whole campaign, so I shouldn't say that. And of course, then you've got all the lock and load stuff, which I've uh, crushed. I played probably 100, that 100 times. Ukraine Crisis is a good little game. I have not played this yet. Now the Belkowski title. Um, it's uh, it's uh, some some um, 
ATO game there. What's that called again? I forget what it's called, Kaysan or something like that. Uh, then we got a bunch of uh, World War Three hypotheticals, obviously Chadwick and whatnot. Uh, Mitch's uh, reboot of Silver Bayonet, uh, more Lock and Load, bunch of magazine World War Two games, and uh, there's some uh, Half Gap Brothers down there as well, and Urban Block, poorly written rules operations, old crunchy titles. Europa and stuff I really probably should throw away. CV, that's a fun game. That's an unpunched copy of Gun Guns of August, by the way. Then up here we've got big box stuff. Uh, Herc and Forest and The Devil's Cauldron and what, all the usual stuff. Waterloo and Blocks in the East. And this is uh, OST, Mark Walker's OST stuff. Got Vakt, Vakt I'm Not Able to Be Played on Rhine, um, Rhine there. That's um, Pacific. Okay. And the counters for flat top Pacific Fleet. It's a Japanese, uh, I forget what it's called. Hobby something or other, Hobby Japan. All right, so that's that stuff. We're going to pause the uh, camera for a second. Then, if you really want to see the rest of it, there's my closet in here, which uh, the lights burn out, but whatever. There's a, just a bunch of junk in here that is either for sale or trade. And then uh, back in that corner, and there's all the rules. Um, there's my flat, uh, flat tray games. We've got, uh, oh, I don't know, there's a bunch of those. Wellington's Victory and a bunch of other stuff in there. I don't know, bits and pieces. All my C3I magazines. I don't know what else. Um, there's uh, two more boxes of games down there. All those boxes in that game, all those games in that top box for sale. And then last but not least, uh, just... Uh, City Fight, so I've got a little bit of storage space in here now. Uh, so City Fight and RAF and Night of Man, basically all my tactical games, uh, World War II tactical games and some of the modern stuff from Lock and Load as well and ASL and, well, Squad Leader, really not ASL. And ASL SK. So that's, uh, that's really the whole, the whole thing. This is my main game room where I play. Got some maps up on the wall, all that sort of BS. And then you've seen the other table that I use for, for gaming as well. So well, that's pretty much it, my friends. So hopefully that's the tour you were looking for. And we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon.